Okay, so um, like I, I said, I mean, like growing up was really tough for us. Um, so my mother raised us as a single mother, and um, I mean, growing up, I, I, I mean, I, I saw how she sacrificed for us to be where we are, and for me specifically to be where I am. Uh, my mom took on jobs that I would not even dare thinking of taking. Um, she, I mean, she earned next to nothing. I mean, like I said, she used to work as a cleaner at the airport, um, earning 1,200 rands, of which 500 rands had to go towards her transport, and then 700 rands had to take care of us on a monthly basis. And um, so the, the, those kinds of jobs, and um, I mean, at some point, my mother is terrified of snakes, completely terrified. And at some point, she had to take on a job where she had to clean, clean snake cages and she was earning, I think, 200 rands a week there. And um, to this day, my mother is still terrified of snakes and she can't stand seeing snakes even on TV. And um, the, and I mean, I remember when they were starting to build parks in the townships, she took on that job as well. And she used to earn about five rands a day. Um, and I mean, she'd work Monday to Friday and Friday she'd come home with 25 rands. And we'd have to try and see how that stretched um, to take care of us every week. So. I mean, I've seen all these sacrifices and seeing how much she pushed for us to love school and to go to school, even when we didn't want to at times. But um, so, so seeing all of those sacrifices that she made, I then thought when one day I get the means, I'll, I would want to actually help take care of her and help her forget the pain that she's been through and the suffering that she's been through trying to raise us and trying to get us to where we are today. Sure. And, you know, sometimes it's incredibly difficult to keep the end in mind during those hard times, so to speak. And we've seen some of the images there of the beautiful car you did buy your mother. Uh, do you still remember what it felt like at that moment? You know, what kept you going? So I think um, what kept me going was, I mean, the, the, the drive and the desire to change my circumstances and to change my background. So knowing how I was raised, I, I knew I didn't want to live like that for the rest of my life. And I, I saw that education was the one key that would actually help me get out of my uh, situation and of my circumstances and even be able to change my, my, my life and be able to, to actually help out my mother. So I then, so the one thing that kept me going was the fact that I think I was decently smart in school and I worked very hard and I knew if I focused on school, that would help change my circumstances. So that helped me going. And the fact that one day when I do make it, I'll be able to tell a beautiful story and give hope to other young people who were raised under similar circumstances or even worse circumstances to say, despite of your background, it is possible to change um, things around. So those are the things that actually kept me going and kept me focused in life. Sure. Well, I'm hoping the lady of the moment is in your company. We'd certainly like to get uh, some of her thoughts and her insights at the moment. Uh, Sis Nomatemba, if you can hear me, thank you for agreeing to also speak to us on Newsroom Africa. Can you take us through what it felt like? What is it Nyabulisa bantungengu no matemba mhla eh hey mfana wami angazi ngafikelwa inyembezi ngafikelwa inyembezi ngoba ngacabanga ukuthi abanye abantwana uma abazali babo behluphekile ngabo bawabevuka nabo umntwana maka sathole into ayifuna yomsebenzi alright uyakhohlwa ngomzali wakhe we are called Baba as I'll flat head the Kai. I call to go to Mama. Why ever a Vuganai? Babel Uguze Bala Lebazile. I call him to go to Mama. Why be good little flame? Nalesos cut. And this cutting is Ningma, a Gusigo Gubenzi Mangente Luguti Nawe, Unga Saboni, Isiza to so go to Kubegele Pambil, Uma so Kabanga when Luguti. Iini eagneta ukuthi ukubege gulugu utwelega nzima. Ongati wawubambelele gupi, itemba lako wawubege gupi. Mtanami itemba la mnganyilbege gungulu nkulu gakulu. Kwa guti noma nyinge na enda weni zinzima. Genga yukufuna uguti ngebege ugusha etafleni. Nginge negoto wa ngiti nkulu nkulu wame 
Nkelung says, Wootinging and gaining it, or Ningen and now, and over I remember Ubutting Gangas Nigella when you campani. Eh, Lapum Fanawamsa sevens aganzima. Gim Talang sevens and Abantuana Bangani, and the Leonda Leonda in Daba, and the Lapa and Tabeni. Sehambe si. Si susa ukula lapo, and the lapo ain't a benguna much a makulu. Ogoba maulunguza, ubon with manga lung mang lunguza langa pandle gunga nyingabuna in yoga enkulu. I remember one day, Gushkuti beguti masio kibela leonta, bitraki sala lapa, isala la penza anzi, abantuana bangani ba kibela minan salile mover, genga wuti angina, leo pawa yoguti ni. I remember ngathi ma sing figi le lapo ngathi nje ngaze ngai kibela le ntaba ngathi mang figa lapo angisho sambe susu kul mangi tinga pantu weli chelu kul ende lapo gugu nugu in la ma plum la lugu lugzwa inyo angsas la ma plum in ba bebeswa biza nguti in ngathi mangi tinga lunguza pantu westi na ende niwa na banya seba kati lugenza i i i space zabula ngathi mangi tinga lunguza ngabona inyo gamtana mi isheli Ip ing pegi le ngati mangit ang zang safu na nuk pegi mo ngavela ngayes ala pinta bin nche mangit ing figen zan zen e e tracking ncholu gutaban tu guta la ba se tracking koto angen ngayo musa gan kulung kul ngabege zela nangaksa sa ngabon ang vuga ni ang oba gan zamil la ban tuan abami uguchi balalibasi lempanawang gan vuga nangaksas Itemang figa nangaksas e wa la wuting chinji uniform fagi uniform koto ngating zoenza nabantu na bazo la la bazen umanyenga inzilo ngakole luk chinji uniform ngange ningas bona ngaba oke ne tracking ngalelo la ugo kibel genga yoguti umoya wambo ngavu minenti zomi ngavu koto ngenga yoguti abantu na gumele ba chole ubuya esiswin. Ganga ne traki ni mfana wa nte mang figa la po masis figa la paint abe ne maje na makul amshonga kibela maje ifo ai tre ora ifo ai gua la ngaji ganga biyele move traki ngachol gute traki na komundu yiminge to ngasal ngatin kunungkuluam utezwi ni la kanye gusi kanye gungungyegelele. When Ababa went or was he would have to Anabam Umanam Sanjing Yege look seven zella lay twenty lay mali lay two hundred randing every when we as good have to Anabam Bazula Labashi, Bashin, Minangas go to Kunukuli and we as Simbong Kunukulu go to Kuhambe Guaze Guafiga. It's really a hard warming story. Now that we're here, uh, Busisani, isn't it? To be able to look back, to hear Umama give recollections of particular moments that still stand out for her. When she, you know, literally had to step out of her comfort zone, face her fears head on, uh, just to, in some respects, ensure that your future is secure. Now that you are here, what message would you give to other young boys, girls, anyone in the country who finds in the, themselves in a situation that you used to be not too long from today? So, um, so I, let me say this firstly. I mean, realizing how education played a key role in changing my, my circumstances, I then decided to go and lecture. I then decided to say, let me go and lecture and give hope to other kids out there who are raised from similar circumstances and say, it is possible to change your background. It is possible to change how you were raised, it is possible. Anything in life is possible. And I'd like to say that to any, uh, any young stars out there who, are, who have dreams, whose dreams are maybe faced with many challenges, I'd like to say God has placed you where you are knowing that you have what it takes to actually overcome and conquer everything that you are faced with. And if you put your mind to it, if you put your faith to it, and if you work very hard, it is possible to change all of that and achieve all of your dreams. Uh, absolutely beautiful stuff. Look, I'm, I'm woefully out of time and I might get in trouble for this, but I have to ask about the car. Tell us a bit more about it very quickly. What type of car is it? When are we getting a lift to the New Dream Africa studios? <laughs> 
So it's a Renault quid. Um, it's a Renault, it's a 20, 2020 Renault quid. Um, it's blue in color. And I must say, so I took it to different dealerships to, to look for different cars, but she still said, no, I want the Renault quid. So I tried to convince her to speak out of it and said, no, no, I want the Renault quid. So I told her Toyota is better, VW is better. I said, no, I want the Renault quid. And then we had to go and buy the Renault quid. So it is a Renault quid. Look, I mean, in, in the spectrum of things that have been done for you, I'm sure you could make that small concession. Thank you very much for sharing your story with us. We certainly hope that it touches other people as much as it's touched us. Busisani Sibia is a lecturer at the University of Johannesburg, but today we're speaking to him, I'm sure, as a proud son of Usis Nomatemba. To the both of you, thanks very much indeed.